Beatrice. Beatrice, my darling, we have dinner. Beatrice, are you up here? You should be. Daddy brought dinner. Where are you, dear? <coughs> oh, God. A little jet lag. Sorry, folks. Hi, uh, Barry Stintz here, and welcome to Paranormal Situation, another episode. Yes. Pardon my yawn, sir. Thank you again. And here we are with Mr. Herman Studemeyer. Yes. Interesting name as well as most people on these shows. Herman Studemeyer. And uh, he has actually told us that his daughter is possessed. Yes, uh, she is possessed by something, some kind of evil, something paranormal. And it certainly, in that case, would be a situation. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So here we are with, uh, again, thank you for having us in your home, Herman. Lovely home, by the way. The best few homes I've been with have uh, very similar. Now, what I would like to discuss with you is exactly what took place, what happened here. Because, seriously, we need to know what we're taking on here before we just start taking things on. I don't just take things on. I don't. It's not my style. So, Herman, I'm going to need you to tell me. I really am. What's going on? What happened? Who did it? Why? Things like that. We need a cause. We need cause. And I need you to convince me of the cause for the show, too. <laughs> Mr. Steens, if you would please call me Duke. My friends all do. No one calls me Herman. No. I am really, really appreciate it. Duke, huh? All right. Well, Duke. We'll call you Duke from now on. Quite a variation of Herman. <laughs> so, in other words, so what exactly was taking place? What happened? What did you notice? That's what I need. I need I need you to tell me, and I need you to tell exactly our viewers as well, which you will in a moment. What did you see? What, when did the changes start? How did it start? What began this paranormalness? Well, Barry, I started noticing these changes about a year ago, and... Uh... What can I say that uh, hasn't been already said before? My daughter was changing. You know, she used to be a very normal individual. She'd go play with her friends down the street and, uh, you know, very normal, you know, hide and seek. And until about the age of 29-ish or so, she started to stop and we knew there was a problem. As of recently, though, it's gotten worse. You know, she's been vomiting green goo and... You know, her head's been spinning around. You know, normal things you don't see in a 29-year-old or whatever age. I think she's about 29 now, yay. And uh, for that, we have issue. And we need to, you know, resolve this as much as possible. This is no fluke, Mr. Stintz. I am no joker. This is something that's very serious to me. And I want the correct determination of what we should do for my daughter in her best interest. So she doesn't continue spinning her head around. You know, we'd like to have her down for holidays or birthdays or something. You know, so we can all enjoy her company and not be scared shitless, if you understand. <laughs> well, by gum, Duke, I... Yeah, absolutely. You know, coming down for birthday parties and dinners and eating like a normal human being would be absolutely fantastic. Yes, indeed. You know, you, you really... Do you hear, can I get you a light for that here? Oh, no, thank you, Mr. Stintz. That won't be necessary. I actually quit ten years ago. I just do this now just to, you know, kind of take the edge off, even though it's really not a cigarette. It's just paper. Anyways, yes, yeah, so we feel that my daughter has been possessed by uh, Beelzebub. Satan, if you will. And if there's anything you can do or anything that you know of that you can do, I'd much appreciate it because, honestly, it's... I just want whatever's best for my 29-year-old baby girl. I want her to come back down again and eat regular food. Not just raw meat and rats and bugs. I'd really like that. You know what? So would I. So would I. I'd like that too. Bugs aren't that good. Come down and get some real grub, not the grub of bugs. Yeah. Anyways, you know, I'd love to meet her. Well, I don't know, Mr. Stintz. I haven't brought anybody up there ever to see her. But I guess for this case situation, we'll be able to do it. I must warn you, though, I don't want any of this on... You know, Facebook or Twitter or, or Twitter or whatever they have out there. This is strictly for hopefully your case. I don't expect it to be seeing this on YouTube or any of that me watch or any of that shit. Okay? Do we have an agreement, sir? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> um, so, why don't we go meet her? I can't wait to see her. And we'll get to know more about the story. And of course, what I will be doing, and this has been very similar and very trending with our Paranormal Situation episodes, is... 
In the next episode, of course, I'll be bringing in DJ Dead Didi with us, and we're going to try to get Father McFeely as well, uh, hopefully to perform an exorcism, if that would be the case. We don't know yet, Duke, but uh, we're going to find out now, so, yeah. Let's do this. I'm sure ready to go. Let's get at it. Beatrice, we have a guest. Beatrice, dear. Now, Barry, be very careful on the stairs. I don't want you to fall down. It's a very narrow staircase, uh, and it uh, is very treacherous, yeah. What, are you kidding? I mean, where am I going to fall? Where am I going to fall? Got a railing here, got this step here. <laughs> no, with all seriousness, is be careful. <laughs> oh, Jesus, fuck you. Watch out, sir. Oh, God's name is that. Yeah. It's okay, Barry. It's just one of her toys. Yeah, it's a little, a little toy rat that she likes to play with, yes. A toy rat? This is a human being we're talking about, is it? He didn't bring me up here to see your pet dog or anything, huh? We got hamsters? <gasps> of course she's a human being. She's my daughter, smartass. Beatrice, babe, where are you, dear? Well, this is disappointing, huh? Almost like in Jurassic Park when they show up and, you know, no T-Rex. This is kind of boring. I'm very sorry, viewers. Where's your daughter? I'm very sorry, Mr. Stintz. Usually she's not this shy. I don't see her anywhere. I do apologize for the inconvenience, but I don't see her. Darling, are you here? Darling. Oh! Oh! You're standing here. Oh, God, Duke! Duke! Jesus Christ, are you okay? Of course I'm not. Call the doctor. You will die. I will kill you. <laughs> Oh my god.